I'm going to show you some ideas of how to create your own planner stuff. I hope you stick around. Hi, I am Kate. Welcome to Planner Nerd Plans, where I do monthly plan with me videos, planner life shows, planner craft with me, planner idea videos, and more to inspire you in your planners. I hope you subscribe if you have not and hit that bell so you know when I post new videos. Okay, so to show you some DIY projects that I have done, um, I have, if you check out my planner list, playlist, planner craft with me, um, I show a lot of here of what I do, but I wanted to make a quick overview video of how to make stuff for your planner. All right, some of this stuff I personally made and some of this stuff I purchased from a fellow planner lady or man who created it themselves. Uh, we know a lot of people who do sticker shops, but some of us do other items part of your planner. So I use disc bound and ring binders, but you can use more than this too. Like you can use a, a journal notebook like this. Um, and with page blank pages that you can draw your own layout and so forth or list and such so there's many DIY projects um, so first one here is I created these um, dashboard slash sections that are just as long as my cover here so then I feel like I'm in a planner so here's my prayer, prayer list, and then here's the my regular planner, and I have what I call my vlog YouTube section, I have what I call my health section, and then I have what I call my extras section. So I just did this, I had stickers underneath, decorated a piece of paper, laminate it, punch it, bam bam, thank you ma'am. <laughs> All right, so other things that you can create on your own is dividers. Now, these dividers that I've made here require me to punch a piece of paper that is a divider here, then put it between two pieces of paper as such, <clears throat> and then tape it down. Um, I have videos how to do this. There's other ways to make dividers as well. Um, create your own inserts. I create my own inserts and I have my own shop to do so. Let's see. Not this bookmark. But not that one either. Okay. I, that's why I have this one. I have other things to show. I'm just going through them and showing what I'm um, trying to point out what I have. So this paper clip was homemade, but not the inserts. <clears throat> I've created my own reference sheets for to remind me what is self care for me. Also, I have here, I always create a list every year of the books I have read. And I do it just to see. Okay, cool. I read this many books. I don't have a goal of how many books I read. I love books. I have no problem in one month to read five books. So <laughs> there is that. All right, those are more of the dividers. And yeah, so this is my Franken planner. So there's a few things, like I said, my dividers and my sections here are basically Frankenplan and, and they're in, in another sense some people would call these dashboards whatever you would like to call them all right so in here I have a little bit more homemade stuff um, you can make your own let me get that bookmarks I made this secured it with a piece of glue and a little decorative thing so that it doesn't fall off but it still is great to mark your current page and such um, I made my own folders by using a file folder fold it in half and then trim it down to size and decorate it with some washi tape so it doesn't look like a plain old Malala folder 
um, created my own dashboards. I do have some dashboards on my site too for A5. This is an A5 binder and you can get them cheap at Michael's as 30, 20 bucks or you can get them as high as expensive as a couple as a hundred dollars to a couple hundred dollars if it's real leather whatever it is um okay made my own dividers again this one just hodgepodge of paper and put different paper there these are my own a5 inserts for my square layout and then on the back here this is the whole year i put another dashboard just to protect the paper back there so as you can see i have there's a few things in here that you can do do it yourself and create um and such all right my next thing <sighs> So the, this might look like a normal happy planner, but it is not. This is not, <laughs> but I still use this. I create, made the own cover. I made the own cover on this one by putting two sheets of paper and how I assembled and glued these and just a simple one on the back. This one here is my first one I tried because I was looking for something for all the owner, you know, the shops, they have all different sizes and so forth. So one shop did, she punched it so I could easily put it in a classic size. So I have those still, but I made these pockets with some page protectors laminated. So I page protected and they were the top, um, slit ones so the edges and such were still um sealed in so i just made a pocket for these odd shaped um stickers i got from other sticker companies that are in here so you can diy and make your own like photo album slash sticker album to hold your stickers and such and I have a bunch of blank ones back here and I put them on these rainbow discs that my son got me for Christmas um, with a laminator you can also besides making covers or dashboards you can cut down smaller and make some washi cards to put in your pockets I don't do that but I've it's another idea I came across um, also I don't I have not made one but you see how some of these uh, these are happy planner uh, stencils but you can easily sketch this out on a piece of paper your favorite piece of paper laminate it and use it as a bookmark in your happy planner or discbound planner as well uh, besides the paper clip ones which you can use anywhere so it's each to its own and don't be intimidated because if you don't feel that you can make it or want to make it or have that creative muse to do so check out the shops below besides my shop creating my own inserts and some dashboards and and such also a few of my other planner friends have sticker shops down below as well and um other planner shops that made things that I have purchased. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the other videos at the end here and I will see you there.